Hi, this is Holly at the Potomac Bee Company. Today I'm going to show you how to make the wire Egyptian coil bracelet. Tools and materials that you'll need for this project are pretty simple. You're going to need some 20 gauge wire and I'm using some art wire here today and I'm actually going to be using a couple different colors and then the tools you'll need are some cutters, you'll need a round nose plier and then a flat chain nose plier. Another tool you might need but it's not necessary is a nylon jaw plier. Um, if you're finding that when you're making your coils that it's kind of marring the finish of your coil you can always use one of those nylon jaw pliers but we'll give you some little tips, tips about that here in just a little bit. One other little tool that I've uh, found that is helpful when I'm doing this is to make my own little cheat sheet and what you want to do is cut a piece of paper that is six inches long and one inch wide and what this is going to do is help us once we get started with our coils uh, we're going to need six inch pieces of wire so you can measure it along here to cut your wire and then once we start our coils we'll be needing that one inch measurement as well so using my little ruler here what I did was I went ahead and pre-cut some of our 20 gauge wire and it's real simple to do all you're going to do is kind of lay your, your wire down on top of your cheat sheet and then you're going to come in with your cutters and just snip. When you're working with wire you want to make sure that you cover that up so your wires don't go flying across the room like that just did. But you're going to want to have at least 18 to 20 of these pieces of wire and you're going to be making quite a few coils. Uh, your hands will get tired by the time you get done with this. Um, and if you don't like them at first, please don't give up because practice makes perfect when it comes to working with your coils. So what I've done, like I said, we've gone ahead and tried to straighten out these wires. You can use your fingers if you'd like to try to do that, or you can use the nylon jaw pliers. So you try to make those as straight as you can. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come in with your round nose pliers, and on the very, very tip of your pliers, you're going to just start a coil like that and you're going to go the whole way around until it almost meets itself. Then you're going to flip your wire around and you're going to do the same thing on the other side and you're going to go towards the loop that you made on the other end. So you should have your wire should kind of look like uh, a mustache. If you have it upside down the loops would kind of look like a mustache. If they're not going like that, we can always twist the wire. That's the great thing about working with wire. So once, once we have those done, go back in, tighten that one up a little bit. Once we have that done, we're going to pick up our flat pliers. And everybody's a little bit different when they do this. For me, what I like to do is I like to hold on to that loop and I like to press the wire around the coil and I'm just loosening the pliers just a little bit and just continuing to coil that really tight right up close to itself. And Like I said, everybody does it a little bit different. Some people do it with their hand. I love using my tools as an extension. And you're just going to do that. Once you get a little bit um, a good ways in on one side, you're going to want to flip it over to the other side and go ahead and start that one as well. So I'm just going to hold that loop with my pliers and I'm going to bend that wire down right beside it. Using my finger I'm just really pushing that wire. Loosening the pliers just a little bit and just continue. You want to make sure that you try to keep both of your coils even. You don't want one side bigger than the other. You get about halfway and you think you need to go to the other side. We're going to go back to the other side and start coiling that. And you're just going to continue to do this and then your cheat sheet is going to come into play again. You're going to continue to do this until you have one inch between your coils. And if you do this with each length of your wire, that's going to make a pretty consistent bracelet. We'll say that this bracelet has been popular in the past. We're going to take a quick second to measure that. Yep, that looks about perfect. That fits right in there between those coils. So that's exactly what we want right there. This class has been super popular in the past. Customers do say that they get 
used to making the coils. I will say though that it is not a very hard wearing bracelet. As cute as it is, you don't want to, this is not like an everyday kind of bracelet that you want to wear. But it is unique nonetheless. So there we go. I've started another wire with my loops on both ends. And we're just going to coil those again. When you're working with the art wire, just be careful using your pliers. If it starts to mar the finish of your wire or that finish starts to come up, you might want to put some masking tape or scotch tape on your pliers, especially if they have ridges in because then um, you'll definitely be able to not damage your wire. Just continue like that. I'm going to flip over to the other side and just keep coiling. Now you can, when you're initially cutting your wire, if you cut with the flat side towards your project on your V-shaped cutters, it's going to make a flush cut and that's going to help take away the point on some of your wires. Um, some people prefer to do it that way. It gives a better finished look. More polished, I guess you could say. We'll pull in our cheat sheet. And this one is just a little bit tighter, so I'm going to, and it looks a little uneven, I'm going to pull this one out just a little bit. Just like that. That looks a little better, and then we'll take this one in. Alright. So that's how we're going to make the coils, and this is eventually going to be the links for our bracelet. Okay, so I got a bunch of coils done. Not nearly enough for a bracelet yet, but it'll be enough to show you what to do for the next part. So now that we have these done, we're going to go ahead and take our round nose pliers. We're going to pick up one of our, what we call, uh, we like to call a mustache when we're here in the store. And you're just going to take your mustache and make sure that uh, the loops are pointing down. And you're going to take it back as far as you can on your round nose pliers before you go into that little um, section that that'll definitely mar and... Um, crimp your wire. So we have our, our mustache pointing down and then all you're going to do is you're going to take both of those loops with your fingers and just press around your round nose pliers and you're going to bring those two coils together to meet. And what you're going to do is get um, a little link that looks like that. We'll do a couple more here and this is just going to be the basis. This is our bracelet. Once we finish it up. So we're going to make a couple more links. Make sure that mustache is facing down and we're about in the center of our wire and then we're just going to push. That one's a little uneven so we can, if we have to, we can um, uncoil and then coil the other side to make it a little more even. just do a couple more of these just like that now once you get all of these done it's going to move pretty quick from here coiling is going to take all of your time okay so we have all of our um, mustaches made into um, our little links here Okay. From here what we're going to do is we're going to keep our round nose pliers, but we're going to take each of the little segments that we just made. And for me, what I do is I just push down on my round nose pliers, uh, the coils, and then the loop side, you're going to press that down as well. And what that's going to do is make your little link like that. I'll do that again. I'm going to put that on our round nose pliers. I'm going to press those coils down and then press the loop down. And I'm just using my fingers. With the 20 gauge wire, it moves pretty easily. I'll do the green one here. So press the coils down, press that loop down. It should make your little link there. One more. Just like that. Okay? So once you have that done, then we have to put these together to finish our bracelet. 
and this can get kind of tricky when you're trying to explain it. But what you're going to do is you're going to take the link, and the when we say the link, we're going to actually take the loop that's on this link, and we're going to put it down through the loop of the one before. So it's kind of going to hook in there. And once you have that looped in there, you're going to press down on that link. And that's going to kind of lock it in place. Okay, so I'll do the next one. We're going to pick up the silver one. And the loop on the silver one, we're just going to slide down into the green one. And then we're going to pinch the green one. So as you're adding those, as you're adding your links, you're going to press down whichever one um, is previous to the one you added on. So finally we're going to take this blue one, and with the blue loop we're going to go down through the silver loop. Oops. Sometimes they do get a little tricky. And this is where it becomes so important for them to be consistent. I'm going to pinch down that silver one. There you go. And you can see, once you get it to lay there right, you can see that uh, it makes a cute little bracelet. So I'm going to show you real quickly how we finished um, this other bracelet with just a simple uh, hook. And when you're doing this, you can actually just move, um, when you're fastening it on, you can just hook that into the loop that's the final one on your bracelet, just like that. So um, if you need some other ideas for other findings, you can definitely check out some of our other YouTube videos. But I've gone ahead and I've taken another piece of wire that I've cut and I'm going to make it about three inches. Okay? And you can make it smaller or larger, however you need to. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to take the wire, one end, and you're going to go back as far as you can in the round nose pliers and make a very large loop. Just like that. And then on the other side, and you're going to want to go the same direction as the other loop. We're going to go to the very tip of the round nose pliers and just barely go around just till it meets itself, just like that. And if you need to, you can come back in with um, chain nose or flat pliers and kind of smush that down a little bit. Okay, so once you have that done, and again, it's kind of looking like a mustache. Once you have that done, we're going to come back in again with our round nose pliers and depending on how big of a hook you want is where you're going to place it on um, your pliers. And again, you're just going to just going to push the wire around until it meets itself. Okay? So this one is going to be a little bit large, but for the sake of showing you how to make it, uh, that's what we're doing. And to put this on our bracelet, we're just going to kind of twist that large loop open like you would open a jump ring. And then you're going to slide it through the very first link of your bracelet. And then to close it, we're just going to close it like that. And you can see then if you, once you get all of the links for your bracelet, this can hook right into the final link or the final loop in your links in your bracelet. So hopefully that all makes sense to you. It does take a little bit of time and a little getting used to to make your uh, coils, but in the end it's a super cute bracelet and it's a lot of fun. Check out all of our other videos if you're interested in wire working. This is Holly at the Potomac Bee Company and you've just seen the Egyptian Coil Bracelet.